guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be doing a cake it is called BTS cake or better than six cake uh, some of y'all may have heard of it and some may not have but it's really good it's got caramel and Heath bar and um, it's a devil's food cake sweetened condensed milk also but I will let y'all see as I make this cake and put it together. So you're just gonna do the recipe on the box the exact way it says and mix it up and you cook it. Okay, so we're going to take the Heath bars. This is going to be our topping, and we're just going to crush them. So I have my little crusher here. You see, that's, that's how it does it. Okay, guys, so our cake is done. I'm going to pull that out and let it cool. Okay, guys, so you're just going to let it cool for probably about 20 minutes. So I'm going to go over here and set my timer for 20 minutes. When that beeps, we will come back in and poke holes in the top of the cake. Okay, we're going to let that cool. Okay, guys, so the cake is cooled enough to uh, do what we need to do. So, now we're just going to get a fork. We're just going to take a fork and we're going to poke holes all in the cake like this. Okay guys, so you can see all the holes I've poked with the fork. So now we're going to take our, our sweetened condensed milk and I'm going to open it and pour it on top. So I'm just going to set y'all up to where you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I open it only on one side, a longer, longer cut, and then one on this side so that it will pour out easier. And then I just bend the can, can lid up like that. And then I just slowly begin pouring. You're going to pour this all over into those holes. the entire can so your cake's gonna look like this now and now we're gonna just wait for about probably 10 minutes for that to soak in and then we're gonna come back with the caramel so okay so the sweetened condensed milk has soaked into the holes that we've po poked into the cake that straight on the top too. Hold on. I'm going to put y'all on the so y'all can see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, we're not gonna pour all of this on there. We're just gonna pour about half. Okay guys, so here we go. All we're gonna do is put on our whip topping. I don't know why I said hour like that, but I did. Either way. I've let mine set out and get thawed a little bit, and we're just gonna put this all over the cake. And we're gonna spread it out. Okay guys, so you just put your topping on there, your whip topping, or Cool Whip, or whatever you want to call it. And then you're going to take your crushed up, like mine are already crushed, Heath Bars, and you're just going to sprinkle this on the top and make it look pretty. Don't worry, my hands are clean, I washed them. Now, the recipe for this cake will be in the description bar, um, and once you watch this video, I hope you consider subscribing, and also watch some more of my other cooking videos. They're really good. They're really easy. I don't do hard recipes because I don't, I don't like hard recipes. I have too much going on. To do hard recipes okay so once you put your topping on I'm just gonna get our caramel again you just get your caramel you get a spoon of it and you kind of just drizzle it over the top yes that came out too much on that one spot but it'd be okay it's still gonna be delicious This cake is super, super sweet. Like I said before, you definitely don't want to eat this if you're a diabetic. And if you do eat it and you're diabetic, make sure you eat small, small portions. Okay, so that's the caramel we're going to put on there. There you have it, guys. It looks delicious, and I know my family is going to love it. They always do. But if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I hope that you subscribe. It helps me out. Um, and come back next week to see what I cook then. Thanks, guys.